Señor Schulz, señor Watson, por el Grupo Demócratas y Liberales por Europa y cuatro minutos de tiempo. Mr. President, Mr. President in office, with your presidency's emphasis on productivity, accountability and transparency, Finlandia is music to liberal ears. The programme you have presented today, Prime Minister, reflects both the strong reforming tendencies of your government and the egalitarian and innovative impulses of a nation which repeatedly tops the league tables for education, innovation and development. Liberal values will be on the march with your presidency. I'd like to take just a few areas which my group feels to be important. Firstly, on the market-driven programme, priorities like completing the internal market, particularly in services and the energy sector, are key goals for us in the months ahead, as are efforts to deliver a directive on the portability of supplementary pensions, promoting market opening to new technologies, which will pay far more long-term dividends than any government-funded initiatives on research and development, and provide growths and growth and jobs and prosperity that our union desperately needs. Article 42 on justice and home affairs. Your presidency is right to focus on areas where European Union legislation adds value to citizens' lives. But in the modern world, a wanted man can be halfway across Europe before the policeman has his boots on. It beggars belief that the law still has borders when criminals don't. For too long, key initiatives on police and judicial cooperation have been stalled in council. And even those decisions taken lack the democratic scrutiny that protects our human rights and civil liberties, as we've seen with the inadequacies of data protection legislation. The time has come, President in office, to heed our call to apply the footbridge clause provided in Article 42 and to make policy in justice and home affairs democratically. The transparency initiative, which has found one of its key supporters in your presidency, is one way out of this anti-democratic cul-de-sac. Liberals and Democrats seek your assurance that safeguard clauses will be used sparingly or not at all. But true transparency requires that the transposition implementation and enforcement of legislation be given much more attention than it has to date. Three years ago, we demanded that member states draw up concordance tables showing how they transpose EU directives into national law. Let citizens see for themselves which parts of the law come from Brussels and which reflect the hobby horses of national governments. Otherwise, poor implementation and gold plating will continue to fuel the fire of Brussels bashers. And yet, since your presidency started three days ago, I see changes are already afoot. The comitology decision, which gives Parliament the right of recall, giving us equal powers to Council to make sure the law is applied. A very important step. With greater power comes greater responsibility. And I hope that our House will bear that in mind when it meets today to discuss much-needed parliamentary reform. President in office, you have a big agenda. The agenda of dealing with Asia and the ASEM summit, the agenda of dealing with Russia. We wish you success in this, and we ask you to think not just of engagement, but of promotion of European values, of human rights and democracy, so essential to the development of our world. We wish you success in finding a way forward to an agreement in the WTO, so valuable to our economy and that of developing countries. And we wish you great success with enlargement, though we know that's already in the hands of another very competent Finn, uh, Commissioner Rehn, sitting over there. Prime Minister, in conclusion, you spoke about fears of globalization. These can best be overcome by developing a European consciousness. As Lundroth did for Finland in the Kalevala, we need to draw on aspects of our common history to create a common consciousness. I wish you the wisdom of Vainamoinen. I hope that for the people's lasting pleasure, you compose mighty songs for Europe's children. Kansala Ilon Ikuisen Laulut Suret Lapsilense.